Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to change the delay that a button has so that it keeps the door open. So normally it holds the door open for this long. And you might need it shorter or longer for any reason. It could be for a trap map. It could be for any reason at all. Um, right now I have this set to hold it open for a very short time. The shortest time it can hold it open actually. So when I push the button, the door does not stay open for long at all. Uh, if I want the door to stay open for longer, I just add delays right here. And make them all the longest that they can be. Okay, so now all the delays are as long as they can be, and I just reconnect this. I'm going to show you how all of this works and connects after I show you this. So as you can see, the door stays open for much longer with the delays in place. So the way that this works is when you push the button here, uh, there has to be a space between the button and the door. Otherwise, the button will just activate the door and it won't do you any good to have all this redstone. But when you push this button, it activates this redstone, which splits in this direction and in this direction. Um, this direction is first, basically it opens the door. This direction, this direction, closes the door. So I'm going to show you how it opens the door first. Uh, basically it splits this way. This is a memory cell circle right here. And this is the memory cell right here. So it turns the memory cell on, which holds the door open. And then the button also splits this way. And these delays all lead to the reset area of a memory cell circle. Uh, the reset area is the um, on portion of the memory cell circle. You just have to have something leading there, and it will reset the memory cell circle so that the button leads to the on portion, the off portion again. So it resets the memory cell circle, which will reset this, and it closes the door. So that is how you can change the delay that a button has for holding a door open. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put it in the comments below, and I will try my best to answer it. Uh, this is not very complicated to me, so It'll probably be easy for me to answer your question. And if you like the video, thumbs up the video and subscribe for more videos.